<laughs> what do you want me to say? Hit it? Yeah. So where are we going? We are off to Clinton. Hit it. Take a minute. So that's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. the screen. So how did you come across this machine? Um, I was at an auction in Beloit. We were walking around just looking at all the stuff for sale. We came up to this machine and I was like, man, I wonder if Greg would want this. They sent you a text. You're like, sweet. How much? And I asked you how much you wanted to bid on yeah, it. Yeah, and I said 60 bucks. Well, anyways, yeah, you said 60 bucks. I was like, what the hell? 60 dollars? Why are you so cheap? <laughs> Is that what you thought? That's what I thought. I was like, why are you so cheap? And then it was, I got it for 35. Was there points. any other bidders? There was one more bidder. It was a woman. She went to the 30 and I got it for 35, so. No, seriously, I can just get down, grab it, be good. Right, somebody help me. Yeah. Right, come on, you Okay, so we're reflowing the solder joints because we think the header pins are making a bad connection and that's why we're getting half the screen. So now we're doing that. So, let's go ahead and look here. This joint was actually bad. It was a broken joint. And now they, they just look bad. Like this one especially, it's real nasty. Okay, so we did some research and we pulled the deflection board and re-soldered the header pins on all of them. And we have not tested this. Mike's wiring up, putting the, um, the header pins on right now. So we'll see what happens. Carter, what do you think? Yeah, careful with that. All right. Are they all in? They're all in. Okay. 
Yes! Yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Do you remember when we were at Wynn's house? We had half a pitcher. We get the machine home, there's no pitcher. It was nothing dead. So I start wiggling around connectors, find that we get pitcher back if we wiggle one connector. So thanks to the power of the internet, Greg finds that it's a common problem that on these boards that the solder joints go bad. So he reflowed them and it worked! It was awesome. The same night we get to play the machine that we picked up. All it took was some solder and some persistence and we were able to play it the same night. And this is actually my first time playing Asteroids. So Win, all I have to say is thank you so much. This is a great find. One of the challenges I found with Arcade Impossible is editing time. I find I can only edit for maybe five hours tops, but either way it starts to stress me out and, and eat away at me. <laughs> oh, it's a beer bill. I got this time. 